It's Neil from 80s Casuals. We've come to see Jay Montezuri, have a look at his gear on one time viewing with the gear coming out of the vault for today. Amazing collection. Uh, gonna highlight some pieces. Totally blown away, some really amazing styles and hopefully we're gonna see it at some point in an exhibition soon. We want to chat about some Borg Elites, which obviously we've been bringing back on 80s. People can get like a, a little bit et up and anal about them there, because they'll have had a particular pair that they've got to remember how popular they were. And it's no, it's not that one, it's the one I had. So it's got to have had the Skywalk soul, and it had the Indian, and, and it was a certain shade of gold, and the signature with this colour. That's not correct. <laughs> there yeah. was quite a few. So a lot of people will go with the one with the Skywalk soul. As uh, that was the one I had. So this is the one it. we're selling now that's a, right, a bring okay. back and it's got a similar colourway, not as vibrant not as gold. Vibrant to that. We admittedly had our own little signatures done, the 80s yeah, Elite yeah, signature, yeah. which everyone yeah, would like. Remember, yeah. And we went with the black. Yeah. I didn't realise about the white. Also, and I'm noticing the tongue differences. The tongue, yeah. yeah. The tongue. Good. Equally beautiful. Both yeah. good. Equally. As much as I was into me running back in the day and me trainers, I was well into Sebastian Coe, so I was loving the idea of finding a pair of original Sebco Impact Elites and also we've got Ed Moses. So I'd say 83-84 Deodora was then obviously off the back of the Borg Elite. Ed Moses again. Phenomenal runner he was. I mean leather seems an odd thing in a runner really. Look at the sole. Look at, look at the beautiful detail in there. That Got to get them back. These days probably more so. And the Ed Moses the bag. Of course the bag. The bag. Yes. Check that out. Mate of Memphis, it'd probably be about 1978, made in England in the late 70s. Went head to head, not in a business way, but kids would be wearing Adidas Samba or Adidas Mate of Memphis. And Mate of Munich were the younger sibling of the Mate of Memphis or the cheaper. They came later or the same No, at the same time. These would have been about 8 99 and they would have been about 12 99, which is crazy numbers. The young kids had the kick and their older brothers had the Samba Mamba. My men would be playing football, but it's just general knockabout trainer that enough people had. but. If you're half decent foot, you had to have a half decent pair of trainers. I would have got on to 80s and by then I'd have got into Patrick. So a lot of lads chatting about the Rio black with gold. And we've got an original pair of gold here. Obviously, young lads, first pair of footy trainers by the looks of the size of these. Gola Cobra, again, they had a younger sibling, Gola Aztec with a white stripe. You'd probably class these as pretty casual. Lads were still, soul boys were wearing them. No, I can remember late 70s, there was nothing wrong with having a pair of Gola. No. For and and for apparently, it's it's huge in uh, Argentina, the Gola. Probably the two most talked about Pumas for us in the tennis world is like the GV, which has been pretty phenomenal and we managed to get come back with them. These ones, when, when I got hold of them, they, they, they were absolute hammers. Eventually, I managed to get a pair. The PU sole had gone on them. They were a right mess. Luckily for me, I know two two great people that restore um, one that transplants the soles. Done an absolutely fantastic job. Fantastic. All different models. Loving them. So, I reckon in the explosion, yeah, I think Round about 81, I think it was. An RPE teacher had got on to the fact that all these kids were coming in wearing these tracky tops, you know, and be going, Ooh, how much you pay for that song? How much? Oh, yeah, all that. A couple of weeks later, he comes in. Right, you lads, want a quick word? See all this Sergio Tashini you're wearing? Our mate with his brother is having a competition with him to see who can sell the most trackies. <laughs> and I'm team with Asini. Who's having one? They're half the price. <laughs> Could you imagine a school teacher now? <laughs> They'd get shanghaied, wouldn't they? Be these ones on the local market, oh, yeah. which were even further down the. I mean, you might have got a bit of ribbon for wearing that. You were getting properly poly for wearing one of these. A Walker tracksuit. Oh, Poor mums that had hardly anything there. that would go, yeah. Um, listen, son, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get you the tracky. This is a proper find for me, a Trinder in Jay's collection, um, rare one-off, only probably one or two of these seen, and I think it's the same one that gets seen twice, so I'm not convinced there's two of them. It's been called a yellow Turinda, but we're discussing today whether it's actually more of a peach colour, probably another colour we've got to think to bring back on 80s casuals. Proper, proper rare find, this one. Obviously, one of the classic bring-backs for us is a less. This is a classic original V-Lass track top, and you can always tell because VLAS was renowned for the V design. You get the badge on the main body and also the badge on the arm. But that's a colourway 
that I don't think we've done, so another great find, something that we can think about doing with a less. Another little exciting feeler find in Jay's collection, um, known as the Sun Tory Cup. I had a little polo a few years back, an original one, supplied the firm, never really come back for a feeler, but this colourway, gorgeous, so I uh, thought I'd better put it on and give it a little try. Definitely going to try and encourage feeler, bring these back and see if we can get Nick Love to get behind it as well. a lot of styles Jay's frames for his exhibition and really exciting enough lads go on about Saruti 1881 got a lovely pink with like a super large badge there and interestingly with the cream just so reminds me of a top that Fila done like a Zio and you can almost imagine the colours look like they're Fila colours and the Fila badge could almost be sitting there I could do a feeler version of this, but I think there already is a feeler version of this. A great piece that is. Paying my respects again to Jay Montezuri and the Dave Hewitson and uh, 80s Casuals who brought out the pink Turinda and this one's been done with the BJ badge. But yeah, the pink Turinda and all the pastel Turindas have been fantastic. But this was a proper rare piece, only 60 made and apparently there's a story suggesting Maybe it wasn't even 60, it was slightly less than 60. So um, yeah, fantastic piece. If there was any piece I'd want the cost to bring back as a trackie, this would be it. Uh, absolute classic bomber neck collar, the cost with the stripe detail. Reminds me of a bit of a toothpaste, but typical at the cost. Got the green and the red from the croc within the stripe design. That's a proper classic. Obviously we've had some great success bringing the Benetton Rugby Tops back. This is um, two colourways, pretty rare. The yellow blue, which a few collectors have got that within their collection, so that's a pretty rare one. And this is an interesting story. I could put this up on a forum and ask people if they can notice the difference, but just spelling it out, obviously a classic colourway, or perhaps not obviously, is white with green. This is the reverse with green and white. So. Uh, we Reminds me of a packet of Pacers from back in the day. What you'd expect in every Casuals collection, the classic Patrick Cagall, certainly something I dreamed of having and eventually got hold of 30 years later or even more. And this is another colourway which people might remember, a sort of classic red with a navy and a dark grey stripe. Just pulling out a something a bit special here that's grabbed me. Love the design of this and I, I wouldn't have even guessed which brand it was but it's actually Pierre Cardin so probably around about the same time as Lendl was doing Adidas but that's a great top that one. Another classic bit of knitwear for casuals the Lyle & Scott Argyle. This is an exact colourway I wore myself. I've put up pictures embarrassing or not embarrassing of me when I'm about 15, 16 in the exact same jumper as this. Oh, thanks Jay for letting us look at the vault. Absolutely mind blowing, loved it. No worries. Brilliant. Pleasure mate. It's looking a little bit grim up north. We're going to have to make our way back down south. By the you softies yeah. can't cope with this. Get yourself no. in the car.